I remember how much I hate heights when I'm up here. Holy cow. Oh man. What's up guys, how you living? I hope you're doing well today, wherever you are, whatever you're up to. The sun's back out and it's time to hit the road for another adventure and it's great to take you guys along with me this time to Vancouver and up to Squamish near Whistler on the mainland of British Columbia. Looking forward to today. ferry trips they're either two hours long or an hour and a half long depending what route you take and the time you've got is time to yourself time to do whatever really you want to do uh, it's time to rest it's time to relax or it's time to work on the side hustle and uh, make a little money or uh, invest a little bit in what you love to do and so that's something that uh, Charlene and Sierra they've been doing the last little while when they get free time and, and that's what I want to tell you about a little bit today that's my challenge to you today as we hang out on the ferry and head to uh, Squamish is, is, is how do you use the free time that you've got? Each of us only has a finite amount of spare time. For some of us, it's a little bit more. For most of us, it's kind of fixed. It's the time between when work is done and we hit the bed and when we get up in the morning and we head back to work. How we use that time matters. It's strategic time and you've got to think about it. I mean, rest can be strategic to rejuvenate your body. Uh, quiet time and time to be still can rejuvenate the soul. Working on the side hustle can put money into your pocket so you can do what you love to do. But it's all finite and it all matters how it's used. A couple of months ago when Charlene and I were in California, I met some people from a company called My Soapbox. In fact, they're the ones sponsoring this adventure today. And what they do is they offer surveys to people to fill out to express their thoughts about brands and products and social media campaigns about those products. And in exchange, you get points that you can bank up and in turn cash those in for reward. Uh, today's adventure is one of those rewards. In this case, I took 100,000 points that they so graciously gave me and put it onto a Groupon gift card, which I found on their website worth 100 bucks. And then I looked to see what was available in my area and I found this spot. It's the Rope Runner Aerial Adventure Park in Squamish. And so that's why I'm here. I've got my pass now for the next two hours to go and have some fun. And now it's time to go get all the equipment on, get set up and then head way, way up. Uh, I think the highest level is 70 meters high. And by the way, just for interest sake, I'm scared of heights. Okay, so the harness is on and I'm getting ready to ascend the stairs, heading up to the first, second, third, fourth, and finally the fifth levels of this element park.
So I'm done. Two things that I'm leaving with. First of all, I'm leaving with exhaustion. I had so many adrenaline buzzes during that experience. Uh, I don't like heights. Uh, it just, I'm still. Uh, anyway, so that was absolutely amazing. The second thing that I'm leaving with is an incredibly tired upper body. Hanging onto that harness for dear life more than once. Gotta find something to eat. I'm hungry. I am hungry. As I mentioned before, in my family, Charlene and Sierra have been filling out online surveys with companies like My Soapbox for quite a while. It's a way for them to turn their free time into paid time. Uh, if you're interested in this, I've got a link below. You can click on it, sign up, you'll get an email with a survey attached. You spend two or three minutes, 10 or 15 minutes filling that out and you get points for it, which you then can accumulate and cash in for over 80 different gift cards. You can use those to get outside, have adventures for meals, for hotel stays, what, whatever you like. It's not gonna pay the bills, but it's definitely gonna get you free stuff. So I wanna encourage you to check that out if you're interested in doing stuff like I did today. Hey, if you're new to the channel, it's been great to have you. Click that subscribe button and the notifications bell. If you're here on a regular basis, so good to see you back again. Did you check out the last video I did? It's a tips and hacks for traveling and visiting Canada. And so check that video out, share it with your friends who might be interested, maybe some people who don't live in Canada, link it to them so that they can come and visit this country, which I love so much. Guys, it's been great hanging out with you. It was great hanging out at Rope Runners today. It was just a party all around. So now it's time to get off the couch, get outside, and enjoy creation. We'll talk to you next episode. Peace.